home is dedicated to string instruments, both bowed and plucked. The space is adorned with a small table and two Art Deco armchairs, as well as a paper mache nativity seen by Giuseppe Maelcourt from the early 20th century. On the left wall, there are four cellos and a tenor viola, all of popular craftsmanship. The tenor viola was played like a violin, but held against the right shoulder. In the 19th century, it became more common to play it in a vertical position, like a small cello, for greater comfort. Unusual in this collection is the Jap Strophidal, a kind of cello with a single string, without a sound box, but featuring a metal trumpet. Another patented instrument by John Stroh is the trumpet violin, which also utilizes a vibrating membrane in a metal sound box to produce a powerful and directional sound. This feature was exploited by Edison to direct the sound towards the horn of the dictaphone, a machine for recording wax cylinders that could then be played back on a phonograph. There are also four violins from the first half of the 18th century, three of which have been modernized. In the 19th century, modernization involved bringing the neck closer and inserting a wooden wedge under the fingerboard to adapt the instrument to new technical requirements. At the center of the display case, there is a French viola de mort built by Edouard Lobby. It has five playable strings and six resonating strings that pass under the fingerboard. Two are made of copper, two of steel, and two of gold. Below the Ferdinand Roth viola, there is a contra violin, a type of tenor viola played vertically like a cello, with a size between that of a viola and a cello. There are also unusual violins, including one built by Gusito with a body resembling that of a guitar, a quintin, a German five-string violin with a zoomorphic head, and a French pochette viola de mort from the 18th century, carved from a single block of wood, with four melody strings and five sympathetic strings. On the side, there is a mannequin wearing an 18th century dress with a pochette violin in its pocket. Pocket instruments were small, practical, and often used by dance masters, who could conveniently bring them to their students' homes. In the first of the two large display cases on the right wall, there is a guitar harp built in Philadelphia in 1835, meant to be played while standing as its elongated body touches the floor. There is also a cigar box guitar made from recycled materials. The body is a cigar box, the fingerboard is a broom handle, the string is made of cello gut and wrapped around a violin peg, and a brass key serves as a bridge. Next to it, we find a Colombian requinto title, with its original case, and a Portuguese father guitar with a headstock shaped like a horse's head. In the center, there is an 18th century French guitar with a slim profile, and two Neapolitan archtop guitars with the first two strings single and the other four double. In the lower section, there is a Hawaiian guitar built by Nocidi in Rome, with a flying bass. Next to it is an Ioria lyre guitar from 1834. Lyre guitars, very popular in the early 19th century, were almost exclusively played by women. Continuing, we have a Fender Stratocaster electric guitar and a semi-acoustic eco arch top with a highly arched soundboard. Of particular note is the guitar with a back made from a turtle shell. In the second display case, there is a Baroque guitar from the first half of the 18th century with bone and silver inlays, three 19th century guitars from Apulia, two by Vito Garganese and one by Pasquale Rotigliano. On the lower shelf, there is a German contra guitar with two necks and a French tube harp, a tubular guitar with 12 strings. There are also four German lute guitars from the early 20th century with drone strings, and finally, a banjo guitar from the United States. Outside the display case, there is an imposing double bass with three gut strings.